First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of this conference uh, for inviting me to, me to uh, this very special uh, occasion, very special conference in honor of Frank <coughs> Mel uh, on the occasion of his uh, uh, more or less 60th birthday. And uh, as everybody knows, uh, Frank is an excellent mathematician. Everybody says that, of course, and with exceptional talent. And this I have seen uh, many times while I was collaborating with him. Uh, the first uh, time when I met Frank was, I think it was in Paris, either at the end of the 80s or the beginning of the 90s, maybe by the beginning of the 90s, a little more than 30 years ago, and he <coughs> came to tell me about his uh, recent result. He works on many uh, problems, but, uh, but among other things, he also works on nonlinear blow up in nonlinear heat, heat equations. And he uh, told me, explain, tried to explain, maybe F Frank was at that time uh, uh, in late 20s uh, or below 30, I, I, I suppose. And uh, he tried to show, he explain his result, which shows that you can find an initial data such that it uh, blows up at uh, many different points at the same time. And it was a very interesting, very interesting result. And later, uh, I started real collaboration with him in 1999. So, 24 years ago, and uh, so uh, I invited him, and uh, I al we also uh, uh, collaborated, but there was a, a France-Japan two-country exchange program of JSPS, and on, uh, on the Japanese side, it was uh, my um, Mimura and myself, and probably one more. And on the French side, it was Daniel Hillhorst, Elizabeth Logak, and Frank. And uh, so we started this, but later uh, Frank came as an invited researcher of JSPS for two months in 2002, two or three or two, or uh, three probably. But anyway, uh, Frank is extremely smart. Uh, but sometimes you need some effort to understand what he says, you know. Uh, but I agree that uh, he's smart not only in mathematics, but in many other, uh, on, on many other occasions, he has a very quick and a correct judgment. But extremely smart. Or, of course, he sometimes makes mistakes. You shouldn't just rely on what he says. But nonetheless, you know, he often he has a very deep thinking of uh, things out, even outside of mathematics. And uh, at the beginning, okay, nowadays Frank gives a very uh, good uh, 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 lecture with a very neatly uh, uh, made uh, slides. And, uh, but I suppose that it was made by his collaborators, not <laughs> by himself. <laughs> that helps him a lot. <laughs> Before, maybe in Overlover Faha or some other places, he gave a talk on a uh, blackboard. And to some people, it could uh, look like a disaster. However, if you are tra uh, a trained person, it is n uh, by no means a disaster. Uh, I once talked with Hatem Zag, who is over there, and he told me he, when he became a student of Frank, it took him uh, six months or more to understand what he wants to say. But after he acquired a, a, a sort of ability to interpret his uh, language into a normal language, <laughs> Had them realized that Frank was saying very deep things. The depth of his comments, I had them uh, appreciated. You, you told, said that. 
Yes. On another occasion, I asked Ivan Martel, who is a frequent uh, collaborator of Frank, and often Frank gives a uh, talk about uh, the joint work. Maybe you forgot it. Uh, I asked him, uh, probably after Frank was giving a talk of a joint work with uh, you, uh, what do you think about his uh, talk? And uh, uh, Ivan's uh, answer was surprising. Okay, sometimes even for a joint work in which uh, I am involved, Frank's talk gives a new aspect to uh, my own joint work, so I can understand more deeply my own work. This is what you said, I think. You agree. So it's, Frank is not just producing theorems, good theorems, but also uh, have a very deep insight behind the theorems. But also, Frank is uh, a person who has a very uh, strong love of his family. Uh, he cares a lot his children. Uh, I can say many things, but when he came with uh, a very small baby, Yasha, to Japan, and he went to a club restaurant, restaurant serving club, nice restaurant, and there were a lot of uh, live clubs in a little uh, tank, and we had to pass next to it uh, to reach the table, and Frank was trying to protect his uh, baby <laughs> from the crab. <laughs> And people were saying that, no, crabs don't jump. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, just in case, you know. <laughs> that tells how s uh, strong love he uh, has to a uh, family. And uh, so this is uh, his uh, eldest son, Yasha, which was uh, uh, taken in 2002. Uh, and by the way, today is uh, the birthday of uh, Yasha, Mel, uh, right? <laughs> it's a coincidence that uh, <laughs> I gave a talk on his birthday, and th this was in a uh, 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 cafe in Paris, uh, Le Fumur, Fumur. And it was a little earlier, just uh, shortly after the birth of Yasha, and it was is in his home. And here is Nuremberg and Rebecca Frank's wife and uh, my wife and myself and Yasha. And uh, then, uh, nine years later, he's uh, more grown up and there's another uh, boy, uh, Maxim, and he, they were visiting Nara. And often Frank came in summertime to spend summer vacation in Japan. I told him that in uh, Kyoto or Tokyo, uh, in Japan, summer is very, very hot and uh, moreover humid. He said that, uh, no, I'm, I'm from the south and I don't care. But probably his children cared a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is a little later, uh, 11 years ago, when uh, Frank, Daniel, and other uh, people uh, kindly organized a conference in my, uh, on the occasion of my birthday. And this is uh, in this build building, and Hatem Zag, and this is Adrian Blanche uh, from Toulouse. Okay, so now uh, here is the outline of my talk. Uh, first, I will explain what is the vitamin problem. Some people may know it, but uh, there may be people who may not know it. And uh, uh, then I will uh, talk about some earlier result and the more recent result. Uh, and this is joint work uh, with uh, mainly with Yoichiro Mori, who is uh, uh, at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, when I started a uh, collaboration with him, he was at the University of Minnesota, but now he's a chair professor at the University of Pennsylvania, uh, co-director of the 
uh, Center of Mathematical Biology and uh, with Mitsunori Nara and a younger person, Koya Sakakibara, who now moved from Okayama Science University, University of Science to Kanazawa University. Now, uh, here is a formulation of the problem. This, what is bi-domain model? Bi-domain model is written typically in this form. I'm uh, mainly uh, focusing on bi-domain Alencan model. So it's a Alencan or more precisely bi-stable nonlinearity. So it's a, a sli uh, slightly uh, modified version of reaction diffusion equation. So you have uh, this part, and in the reaction diffusion equation, you, you have Laplacian of u. But instead, you have uh, this e equality and this equality. And the nonlinearity uh, 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 unknown function is u, ui minus ue. And uh, I will explain what ui and ue means. But these equalities are for ui and ue. So it uh, looks a little strange, but in some sense the uh, unknowns are ui and ue, but the uh, uh, dynamics is for u, not ui and ue. So uh, I call it Alencan, but uh, to be more precise, it is a bistable nonlinearity, which is a quite common in the study of uh, reaction diffusion equations. And uh, the main question is the stability of planar wave. So where does the, this bi-domain model come from? The background is electrical conduction in the heart. And uh, the heart uh, has a lot of cardiac cells, and the cardiac cells uh, not, uh, uh, it's a kind of muscle cell, but it can also conduct elect electric signal like a neuron. Uh, and uh, they, uh, uh, they are sort of uh, uh, coupled with uh, some, uh, what is called gap junction, and uh, through which a, a lot of ions uh, pass through, and that uh, so this way, they are electrically connected. And then, if you look at each cell, which, as you uh, saw, it's a bit long, so it's not uh, round-shaped, then inside and outside region, we can call uh, uh, intercellular uh, region and extra extracellular region, and both inside and outside, uh, there, uh, there is a potential, electric potential. And uh, on the membrane, the difference between uh, VI and the VE is called the membrane potential, which is very, very important. So uh, the membrane potential is def defined on the boundary of this, uh, this uh, uh, cell. And the difference is uh, uh, the most important thing. And then inside and outside, it's not necessarily uh, isotropic. So we have conductivity matrix, intracellular and extracellular. And we have... Uh, Excuse me? It should be E there, no? E? In the equation. That's, yeah, in the that's equation. one is inside, one is uh, outside, or? Sigma. Inside and outside. Ah, yes. Intra and extra. Outside the box. No, no, in the other box. It ah! Yeah, it's uh, extra cellular. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right. So anyway, inside and outside, there are, OK, sorry, uh, this is uh, E, uh, uh, quasi-stationary conduction, which means that in this small scale, uh, the uh, electric current does not uh, uh, create much uh, uh, magnetic field. So you, we don't need to uh, use the Maxwell equation. So, so we have uh, more or less this kind of uh, uh, 
equation and uh, the continuity of uh, electric current has to be satisfied uh, <coughs> along the membrane. And if there are many cells, it, uh, they form, many cells form uh, what is called a tissue. And in this level, uh, 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 small uh, cells are invisible in some sense. Uh, it is visible, but uh, you can uh, just look at the homogenization limit in some sense. Then this uh, uh, continuity condition will be turned into this. Why is it called the bi-domain model? Because in the homogenization limit, inter intracellular region and extracellular region, the difference just disappears. So uh, <coughs> the homogenized intracellular potential and homogenized extracellular potential, which we call UI and U E, are uh, defined everywhere. So at each point, at each point, uh, uh, it is a superposition of intracellular and extracellular uh, uh, regions. And what is really important is UI minus UE, the difference on the cell membrane. By the way, in the classical model uh, uh, for the elec uh, electric, I mean, I mean uh, uh, nerve signal conduction model is uh, the most uh, uh, fundamental one is the uh, Hodgkin-Huxley model, which is, uh, uh, oops, which is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, system of uh, reaction diffusion type equation plus ODE. And it could be more complicated depending on the situation. And uh, a simplified uh, version is Fitzsimmons-Nagumo model, which uh, uh, captures uh, uh, a large part of uh, the feature of uh, Hodgkin-Huxley, but it also applies to other uh, physical uh, 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 situations. And uh, uh, it is uh, well known that they they received the uh, Nobel Prize for this Hodgkin and Huxley. Um, but uh, in this case, it is 1D Laplacian. And uh, if we consider a 1D model, hom uh, uh, Hodgkin and Huxley, the paper in 1952, uh, considered a circuit, electric circuit model, and if you uh, uh, just uh, uh, connect this circuit, then in the homogenized limit, you get uh, uh, this uh, diffusion equation. So that, that's how the Hodgkin-Huxley model was uh, de uh, derived. However, if you look at uh, the uh, 2D model, with the cardiac cells. They also transmit electric signal. However, the, uh, it, if it is uh, one, uh, one, 1D, it is the uh, homogenized limit is a diffusion equation, but if it, it is 2D, it is not, no longer a diffusion equation. It is a bi-domain model. So that's why it is important to study a bi-domain model to study the electric uh, uh, propagation on the heart. Now, uh, uh, okay, so I'm just uh, 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 comparing the monodomain model. Monodomain means that just classical standard Hodgkin-Huxley or Fitzhugh-Nagumo model with the, mo the bi-domain model, which is here. And the bi-domain model is uh, considered more, ac gives more accurate uh, description of uh, 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 the propagation of elect electric signal on, on, on the heart, uh, which is explained in the uh, book of uh, Kina Sneed, for example. And uh, uh, with the diffusion model, you cannot uh, well explain the such uh, phenomena as cardiac the uh, defibrillation. But I'm not uh, so familiar with this. Uh, uh, I'm talking more on the 
uh, uh, mathematical uh, uh, side uh, aspect of this problem. So, despite the uh, important uh, uh, importance in applications, uh, little was known mathematically about the qualitative pro properties. A lot of uh, research has been done, uh, as, I, I, as I will uh, uh, mention later, but uh, particularly the qualitative property, like stability or, or asymptotic behavior, this was uh, uh, not uh, so much studied. And I will focus uh, mostly in this talk as a first step to understand the, uh, uh, this pro uh, model uh, qualitatively, I will uh, focus on the single equation, uh, which is the bi-domain allen -Kahn model. Uh, to be more precise, bi-domain uh, bistable model. So F is the standard allen -Kahn, but it's not balanced. <coughs> so allen -Kahn is usually balanced by stable nonlinearity, but here I just have used the no, uh, terminology, so it is uh, bistable, unbalanced. Uh, nonlinearity. So mono, mono domain is this, and bi domain is this, and uh, but it is not easy to handle this problem if you uh, write it this way. So it will be uh, uh, converted into a closed form of a single equation later. But in that case, the principal uh, uh, term is no longer a uh, dif uh, differential operator, but a uh, uh, fully integral operator. So, a typical case which we uh, studied uh, is uh, uh, this case. Uh, both are diagonal matrices, but they are not uh, uh, they, are, they have a different uh, type uh, uh, of uh, sc scales in uh, dir uh, each direction. And uh, the first simple remark is that if AI is a, a scalar product of AE for some alpha, then it reduces to a monodomain model because if uh, 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 this uh, 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 holds, then you can just rewrite this into this form. So it is, uh, uh, it is not a Laplacian, but after a linear change of variable, it will become Laplacian. So it's the same as the standard reaction diffusion equation. But this is a very, very special case. In all other cases, the maximum principle doesn't hold. The maximum principle holds only for this special case. And then also, oh, it, is, it has to be mentioned uh, uh, that uh, if uh, the solution depends only on one direction and independent of the uh, orthogonal direction, then the equation reduces to a single reaction diffusion equation, one dimensional, <coughs> which means that a uh, planar wave solution is a special solution which depends only in one direc directional variable and independent of the orthogonal variable. Therefore, the uh, uh, shape of the uh, planar wave is completely the same as the uh, standard classical allen kahn model with some coefficient. But the diffusion coefficient De uh, depends on the direction of uh, um, propagation, uh, uh, as I will uh, explain later. But the stability properties are completely different. So here are the known results about the bi-domain models. Uh, so it has been studied um, uh, by many people, uh, particularly in the Italian group, uh, Cody Franzoni and his group had uh, ma uh, ma many early contributions uh, for the analysis of bi-domain models, and also <coughs> some uh, French group uh, studied the well poisonous and uh, uh, also formal derivation of the sharp interface limit, uh, uh, and uh, also book of Keen and Snead on the 
mathematical physiology explains this bidomain model. Excuse me. Are yes. Yeah, are the interior and exterior matrices constant? In my talk, yes, to make, oh sorry, uh, to make it simpler. If it is not constant, of course you can define the same way, yeah. but it will make the problem <laughs> much more complicated, sorry. Yeah. So I should have said that, but the constant, which is already quite uh, difficult. Okay. Uh, so very little was known, as I said, qualitative properties like stability. Before uh, the first work, in this direction was by uh, Yoichiro Mori and myself, which appeared in uh, CPAM 2016, which I will explain uh, uh, later. But uh, today's talk is based on the following papers uh, the, uh, 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 with uh, uh, the, the 2016 paper and the more recent papers. So, first uh, let me explain about the uh, linear stability. So my uh, uh, work with uh, uh, Yochiro Mori was in, 2000, uh, in 2016 was on the linear stability and it is very, very interesting, which uh, was a surprise to us. So, uh, but let me go quickly as uh, Elizabeth looked at the watch, so <laughs> So <laughs> maybe I should uh, be careful about the time. <laughs> oh, okay. So the example is again this case, but it is, and also A and B are constant, and, uh, but it is already interesting enough. Uh, so as I said, if the solution is written uh, uh, depends only in the direction uh, n, where n is a con uh, unit vector, then it, uh, uh, you satisfy the classical allen kahn equation, and uh, which I will uh, show here. C is the direction of propagation, and eta is uh, orthogonal, but uh, uh, I assume that the u is independent of uh, eta, then uh, this uh, function v satisfies this standard reaction diffusion equation, where k is a constant, which depends on theta. So this is the speed of pro uh, wave speed in direction theta. Uh, it is, if f is uh, fixed and we change theta, then the uh, wave speed is proportional to this constant. And this is very, very important as a matter of fact, this, uh, how the wave speed changes uh, ac according to the direction. And, uh, uh, okay, now let's first recall what is known for the classical reaction diffusion equation which is uh, of this form. And in this case, it is well known that the planar waves are all stable. And the proof is uh, rather easy. Uh, uh, some weak stability can be proved by uh, using just comparison argument and it gives stability in L infinity on the whole domain, in the whole space, even not necessarily in 2D, but in every di uh, uh, dimension. Uh, the most uh, 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 naive uh, uh, proof is if this is a traveling wave which we are looking at, and just look at the uh, uh, special shift of the two traveling, uh, two special shift of the traveling wave, they all travel at the same speed. So any, p uh, if you give perturbation within uh, these two traveling waves, the solution by the uh, uh, comparison principle remain between the two forever. Therefore, it is stable in a weak sense. However, if you use a beta super and sub solution, which uh, Fife and MacLeod did in the late 1970s, 
you can also give a super solution which is slightly lifted or lowered and the solution is confined and these uh, upper solution and lower solution will eventually come down to the same level of the, of the original uh, uh, original traveling wave so it uh, uh, it, it, it is a very nice uh, result but you can also say more by using the fact that uh, uh, this traveling wave u sub x is negative and using klein rutman theorem uh, linear stability follows what does it mean u sub x if you uh, differentiate the equation for the traveling wave by x you will see that uh, u sub x is a uh, eigenfunction for eigenvalue zero and by klein rutman theorem if the eigenfunction doesn't change sign it is the principal eigenvalue so the zero is the principal eigenvalue and moreover it is uh, simple which means that uh, this uh, uh, zero eigenvalue comes from the uh, 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 equivalence with respect to translation so th for the stability what matters uh, is uh, the rest of the eigenvalues and the essential spectrum uh, is not really important because f prime of zero, zero and f prime of one are all negative and because of that you will see that all the eigenvalues are, are, are negative and therefore it is uh, stable which gives linear stability or spectral stability and therefore if you perturb slightly the uh, traveling wave it will converge to one of the traveling waves so it, uh, it is stable with asymptotic phase so this is uh, the well-known fact for the uh, 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 classical uh, model and the, ma the, the maximum principle plays a key role of course in this business and uh, okay for people working on wave equations uh, and other Schrodinger equation maximum principle doesn't hold anyway so here uh, there are many specialists who don't use maximum principle but for parabolic people like us maximum principle is very very important however unfortunately the uh, in by the way model maximum principle doesn't hold except for the very very special case therefore we have to work on uh, even though it looks like a reaction diffusion equation it is similar but uh, because of lack of maximum principle uh, many strange things will happen for example uh, de depending on the direction uh, planar front which is slightly part of will develop as time uh, passes develop a pattern which looks like sawtooth and the angle of the sawtooth depends on the direction of the uh, propagation of the uh, 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 planar wave and uh, at, at, the at, at the very beginning Yochiro Mori and I were not sure what these angles were and later we came to uh, conjecture what these angles uh, signify and uh, uh, we did some numerical simulation to confirm the uh, uh, our conjecture num numerically at least uh, I will explain it later now to study the uh, linear stability Fourier uh, transform uh, we do it by the Fourier transform uh, so this equation equality is this and we do the Fourier transform and then uh, everything will become uh, this differential operator will become something like that so you, we can just multiply or divide and then these are uh, uh, matrices and the ui you can be expressed by ui 
And uh, therefore, this equation can be written by a single equation, which is this. Qk is, the, uh, is this uh, um, homogeneous degree to uh, rational function. Qi and Qe are uh, 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 quadratic poly polynomials, so this is degree 2. And the uh, bi-domain op operator, so the equation is equivalent to this e uh, equation, just a single closed form, where L is uh, wh what we call a bi-domain operator, whose uh, Fourier symbol is this Q. So, uh, uh, this is, uh, so la in the case of Laplacian, it is a quadratic polynomial. And this is also, uh, so de degree two. This is also degree two, but it's a rational function. So that makes things quite different. For example, if we, we look at the fundamental solution, fundamental solution uh, generated by this uh, bi-domain operator, if A is and B are zero, it is just uh, 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 unit matrices, so it's a, a classical Laplacian. So then the fundamental solution is completely positive. However, as soon as uh, it uh, becomes different, A and B are not non-zero, it has a negative part. So therefore, the positivity is not preserved, uh, which is, of course, no surprise to people working on other equations. But for, for the reaction diffusion people, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is a big, uh, big uh, you know, uh, how do I say, uh, problem because we have to change the approach completely. And uh, we have proved that apart from the very special case where the uh, uh, two matrices are scalar product of uh, uh, each other, in that case, it is the uh, completely the resulting e uh, equation is a standard reaction diffusion equation. But except for this case, uh, it has a uh, uh, negative part. And this can be a, uh, in physiological viewpoint, it can be a, interpreted that the current impulse at one location can result in uh, hyperpolarization elsewhere. So, so you can also call it as some sort of a, a lateral inhibition. Mm -hmm using a biological term. S and this uh, property can suggest that a lot of interesting pro uh, patterns may arise. So let me just uh, go very quickly, uh, skip the details uh, of, of computations. But anyway, I just uh, 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 skip the details. But uh, uh, the stability of the uh, wave depends on the direction of uh, propagation, and therefore it is uh, more natural to consider a uh, coordinate, new coordinate. Uh, C is the direction of uh, propagation, and eta is orthogonal to that. And the uh, planar wave depends only on C, but its perturbation may also depend on eta. But how d does it depend on eta is the problem. So this is the new coordinate, but uh, let me just go uh, relatively quickly. And uh, our analysis was done the following way. So this is a s uh, degree two, hom uh, homogeneous degree two rational function, but we can take out the degree to polynomial out of this, then the remainder is a smaller term, smaller term. And the uh, uh, degree to polynomial part is the same as Laplacian. Uh, 
therefore, okay, we just skip this anyway. Uh, this, okay, okay, let me just quickly uh, go, okay. So the eigenvalue can be uh, expanded in L. L is the wave number parallel to the uh, front, L. K is a small, little k is a, a orthogonal so uh, to the direction propagation. And uh, uh, then it turned out that uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, we can uh, project into into the function of wave number L, and uh, then consider uh, eigenvalue problem. The eigenvalue it turns out that eigenvalue is uh, written in this way. And uh, this doesn't affect the uh, uh, stability. So what matters is uh, this. And this alpha zero can be computable. I don't write it down. But it turned out that uh, this alpha zero, OK, let me just go quickly. This alpha zero, the sign of this alpha zero is completely uh, the, the same as the sign of the curvature of the Frank diagram. Frank diagram is the uh, uh, shape which is def defined this way. So k theta is the uh, speed of uh, uh, traveling wave in each direction theta. And if you divide it, Frank diagram. Thi this is uh, often, for ex example, uh, crist crystallology. How to call it? The crystal. Uh, uh, this Frank diagram and its uh, its uh, dual shape, uh, 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 wolf shape, is uh, o o often uh, uh, studied, and uh, the same appears here. And it turns out that. This alpha zero, which is a key uh, quantity to tell you the uh, stability of the front, at least for L small. L small, uh, L small means that the wavelength is very large. Wavelength is the inverse of, of the uh, wave number. Then here it is uh, uh, curvature is positive. Here it is curvature is uh, negative. Which means that if the uh, planar wave is uh, propagating in the direction where the Frank uh, diagram has positive uh, curvature, then it is stable, at least for the uh, long wa wavelength or small, uh, uh, small L. So this is the first result we obtained. Uh, and so, as, as far as the long wavelength perturbation are concerned, it is completely, uh, the stability is completely uh, uh, stabi uh, determined by alpha zero, which, whose sign is the same as the curvature here. So this, this was the first stability result on the on, uh, Allen Kahn model. This is a linear analysis, but anyway, and moreover, it, the space was L2. So it, uh, we needed, uh, in the later paper, we needed to convert the result into L infinity space rather than L2, but it is not too difficult. Uh, OK. And what is not com clear yet is medium wavelength stability in which L is large. So we were able to expand uh, the eigenvalue in terms of L for L very small. But when L is large, since it is a non-local operator, the stability is not completely clear. But at least we were able to construct some uh, example in which the uh, planar wave is unstable in every direction. So for the long wavelengths, 
uh, it is stable in this direction, but uh, because of the medium wavelength spectrum, it is uh, unstable uh, for a very, very special F. But in general, for general F, we are not, uh, not yet able to estimate the uh, 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 spectrum. So it is still an open uh, question, but uh, uh, at least for some example, we, can, we could do it. And no, that was the st uh, uh, linear stability. And then we started to study nonlinear stability. However, because of COVID, you know, uh, our progress has been delayed and, and delayed. Uh, and finally, we were able to f uh, obtain something in 2022 and also in 2021, uh, which I will mention after this. So we wanted to study the stability of a, a planar wave in an infinite strip of finite, me, finite uh, widths in direction theta. And uh, uh, nonlinear stability is the following. If a planar wave is linearly stable or unstable in the direction theta, which means, means that, uh, uh, anyway, uh, linearly stable in this domain, I mean. So not in the whole uh, R2, but in this domain. Uh, this can be done by just uh, 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 we also uh, impose uh, 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 periodic boundary conditions. So, so it the spectrum linear the spectrum is a subset of the uh, uh, of the en entire plane. You know? Then the theorem three is uh, in some sense standard. If uh, uh, you have, if this equation, if L, if L uh, uh, generates an analytic semigroup in some good space, then this comes from a standard analysis. But before we were working on L2, which is not a good space, so uh, uh, we had to come. Uh, rewrite uh, all the result uh, in L infinity, but the spectrum remained the same between L infinity and uh, L2. So this is, uh, but uh, uh, to do that, we use the, uh, uh, we use the uh, fundamental solution. Fundamental solution decays with the order of the distance to the power minus four or something like that. Not as fast as the Laplacian uh, heat kernel, but still, it was okay. And then, uh, nonlinear stability. Uh, the second result is that whatever the direction, if the if the uh, width uh, of the strip is very narrow, one can also prove that uh, it is stable, uh, regardless of uh, the direction. So this is also not so surprising. Uh, many unstable mode is completely uh, eliminated if the uh, width is uh, uh, narrow. And the, the result is similar to the uh, reaction diffusion equation. And finally, we were also studying a uh, bifurcation problem to prove the existence of uh, 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 prove the existence of a stable sawtooth front. And uh, this one is uh, uh, actually uh, not yet published. But, but anyway, uh, let me just go on to the uh, spreading front, which is uh, mainly numerical simulations and the formal analysis. And this, in this uh, work, uh, uh, young person Koya Sakakibara also is involved. And what is it? So as I said, 
Uh, this is the speed of propagation for for the uh, 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 planar wave. This is a diffusion coefficient actually for the planar wave. Uh, it is uh, reduced to one dimensional uh, 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 reaction diffusion equation for the planar wave. And uh, then we draw Frank diagram and uh, then between these two spots uh, on, on the, in this direction is a stable direction. So we don't, w for the moment, we don't worry about the medium wavelengths uh, uh, stability, but here, at least for the long wavelength stability, this is the only possible stable area. And if we consider, okay, this is the wolf shape, which is, uh, which is the, uh, uh, dual shape of the Frank diagram. And if it is a, uh, 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 okay, if, uh, how do I say, if you have a reaction diffusion equation whose uh, uh, planar wave has uh, this speed in each direction, then uh, the re if you start from a compactly supported initial data, the front will eventually, eventually uh, converge to a wood shape. This w one can sort of uh, uh, expect. And to prove it is not completely trivial, and uh, we have only numerical result, but uh, let me show you one Oops, oh, the movie does not. Uh, for example, oops, so the movie. Okay, so maybe it's uh, uh, this, uh, it's not uh, compatible. Yeah incompatibility between Windows uh, movie and uh, Mac. So what happens, what I wanted to say is that if you start from uh, this kind of flat uh, initial data and move in this direction, then it will, uh, it will uh, develop it will develop, uh, okay, unfortunately, okay. Ah, media non trouvé. Ah, media was not uh, somehow. Ah, I see, I see. We have to, we, I had to also uh, copy the, the <laughs> video. Okay, anyway, so you, you have, uh, as, I, as I showed, This kind of uh, planar front will uh, develop this kind of uh, uh, zigzag pattern, and this k kind of uh, front will uh, develop. If it is not forty-five degrees, uh, it it will be non-symmetric, something like that, and this one m moves. So it's a. Uh, uh, periodic solution. And uh, initially, we were not sure what these angles of this sawtooth signify. Then we found that, at least numerically, <coughs> our original conjecture was right in the sense that if this direction is unstable, this is unstable direction, they try to m deform the front so that it will, oops, 
it will come to the closest stable direction here. And this angle and this angle is exactly this. And here also, the closest stable direction is here and here, and it almost matches. So our conjecture was correct, at least numerically, and to prove it is uh, still <coughs> uh, not possible yet, uh, but uh, uh, at least the zigzag was an enigma for most people, even those people who observed this earlier than we, we did, uh, the, uh, no, no one really knew what, what this zigzag means, but uh, we have a uh, good uh, interpretation, at least uh, as a conjecture, that they will choose, the, the front will choose the closest to uh, stable directions. And uh, our movie, which I couldn't show, uh, really confirms this. And then, uh, this is the same as uh, this. There is a movie, but I don't think it will work. Eventually, if you start from uh, uh, localized initial data, which is circle, eventually which you, it will converge to a wolf shape. So it's similar to what we will see in crystallology. Crystallology? Crystallography. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we also did some Fitzu Nagumo model. We are still working theoretically, but Fitzu Nagumo model is, uh, in some sense, a simpler version of Hodgkin Huxley model. And uh, many people, and many people using bi-domain model as uh, uh, for numerical simulation often. Uh, replace uh, um, uh, Hodgkin Huxley or by domain Fitz Nagumo by a standard uh, diffusion model. And we wanted to s see if how different di uh, de they are. And it turned out that the pulse wave, uh, there is a pulse wave for the Fitz Nagumo model like this. And <coughs> in the re parameter regions in which the front is stable, in the case of diffusion, in the bi-domain model, in some cases, it can collapse. So as time passes, it will uh, develop a sawtooth, but very thin, and eventually uh, collapses. And we want to uh, understand more theoretically how the, how the pulse wave collapses. I, this is the, this is the, uh, shape of the wave seen from the above. Here appears singularity, you know, in some sense. Uh, but this uh, type of the singularity here is not known. It's uh, completely so, so far an enigma, but uh, uh, numerically we confirm that uh, things are uh, qualitatively quite different from the diffusion model. OK, this is another uh, numerical simulation. In some cases, it uh, stays like this uh, zigzag shape, and uh, it uh, propagates at a constant speed. But in other cases, it just collapses. So it's uh, still a lot of open problems. And uh, uh, this is the summary. And uh, OK, I skip the summary uh, because uh, uh, of the time. So I just wanted to say happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. So, so you said uh, when you go to infinity, uh, it's steeper and steeper in some case. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, you mean the pattern? The pattern. No, yes. no, no, no. The, the oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Here. No, no. Ah, you mean the Fitz Nagumo? Yes. Fitz Nagumo is Here. still uh, en uh, enigmatic, but I don't think it will, uh, it will uh, similar to this case, you know? It will uh, try to choose the closest, uh, closest uh, stable direction, so the angle is all all the time fixed. Okay. But wha what this angle uh, signify was not clear before. But now it uh, 
using the Frank diagram, it, it is uh, uh, more or less getting somewhat clear. Just a second. Okay, uh, yes. This, the angle is eventually fixed, but uh, if you change the theta, the direction propagation, the shape changes, but now we more or less understand what it is, more or less, yes. So you mentioned the result of the Taylor point is unstable in all directions. For some very special f choice of f, yes. for which it was possible to compute the uh, medium length uh, wavelength spectrum, uh, which means uh, for large L uh, wave number, uh, relatively large L. Uh, it is not easy because it's a uh, uh, non-local, in, in, you know, involving in integral, you know. But for some very special f, we, we were able to uh, uh, compute it. Then it turned out that although in the, for the long wavelength, small l, in some direction it is always stable because uh, the Frank diagram gra gram has a uh, curvature positive direction. But because of the uh, medium wavelength spectrum, thus it can't be stable. So it is st unstable in every direction. There are such a very, very uh, 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 st strange cases. So in that case, how we haven't done, uh, because the uh, nonlinearity f we chose was very special, and the numerical, it's very, very difficult to compute how the front collapses. Yes. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.